Hello YouTube and welcome to the next Google Nexus 10 tablet. Uh, so let's hit the on off button here on the side and it vibrated. This is really one thing I like about Google tabs or tablets, uh, the integrated vibration device and we see the same boot logo as on the other devices. It's a still the Google jelly bean ice cream sandwich cross uh, welcome English uh, language settings of course we take English start now we connect to a Wi-Fi network after that it's asking for my Google account so yes we got one let's sign in it's signing in and then it's asking for my credit card for Google Wallet. Not now, I can do this later. Back at backup and restore, restore for my Google account to this tablet and keep this tablet backup with my Google account. Yes, please. So restoring, this can take up to five minutes, but normally it goes way faster. There we go. Google and location, use Wi-Fi uh, location and let Google Apps access your location. This is just the Wi-Fi version of this tablet and no one even knows if there will be a 3G version of the Nexus 10, but of course I just let them access. So that's it, setup complete and finish. And this is your Google Play library. It's already syncing all my stuff. Not really syncing, but it's showing me what is in my cloud for me for available. We see the normal Android 4.2 background. We got one, two, three, four, five home screens. Yes. And we got this uh, divided scrolling down here. Left side for notifications, right side for my settings and all this stuff, Wi-Fi, airplane mode, Bluetooth, battery, rotation, brightness, and of course, settings. Let's hit over to settings and about tablet, and we see it's Android version 4.2. So this is actually it. Screen looks nice, colorful. One or two things that I've already noticed is, we got our notification LED here down there, it's blinking. We got our stereo speakers in the frame on the left side, or not really in the frame, but on top of the frame and on the right side too. Um, maybe a little bit strange if you're holding the tablet. This way you will always cover some part of, the, of your speakers. Um, it's still really a thin tablet, <laughs> what I think, and with just uh, 603 grams is it's really light especially for this big screen size um, what you also notice is as always on Nexus devices we got our Google keys here back home button and tap switching integrated it takes a part of the screen away but with that big screen of the <laughs> big screen size no problems let's rotate works great and let's check out the lock screen here. There we go. What we don't yet have are the lock screen widgets. I don't know if you have to activate them or why they are not there. On the Nexus 4 and 7 they are already there. And one other thing, we got still the old way to activate Google Now. It's not on the button, we just move it up as we are used to it. So this is the first actually working video of the Nexus 10. More videos will be following, don't be afraid. There will be a huge load of tests, comparisons and and and. So thanks for watching, stay tuned and I see you in the next video. Bye! <music>